Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Gemini. Hi Geminis, this is going to be for October 2019. And remember it's general, right? So it could be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, I'm a Gemini rising, so hello, fellow Geminis. I'm sorry, hold on, it's so hot in Hawaii, I'm parched. I'm not even going to pour my delicious San Pellegrino into a glass. My hair is just falling over here. Um, it's too hot. The five-pointed star thing has been really, really relevant, y'all. And I just realized that there is a five-pointed star here on the San Pellegrino thing, their logo. All right, let's go. I love Perrier, but I don't know why I got the San Pellegrino. Maybe, I mean, I like San Pellegrino too, but. All right, here we go again. Marriage, everybody's getting married. Wedding, the situation involves marriage. True love, this is the romance of a lifetime. And make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Um, if you watch the Aquarius October reading, you will see that, or you did see, that wedding bells are ringing. Wedding bells are ringing. This is the romance of a lifetime. I think this is going to be the theme of your reading. We, of course, will see what happens in the extended. If you would like to purchase that, of course, you click on the link below. It takes you to my website. Um, now, I got to go back to here. It says make the effort. The thing about Gemini's are is you guys are ruled by Mercury, which is quick, fast moving energy, right? And it's also it rules communication. Gemini's are very communicative. But for some reason, I don't know why, it feels as if you are standing like this, afraid to take that step. Whether this means taking this step to reach out, whether it means taking this step to be like the full energy and jump and take this leap of faith into the unknown with a person. Maybe it's being afraid to make the effort to end something so something new can begin. New things can't come in if there's no room. This is the romance of a lifetime. It's like sweeping you off your feet. It's like that just one look kind of an energy, right? Let's begin. Let's begin. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. This will also be for Gemini cross watchers, okay? First card out is Justice Libra. Mm, seven of Pentacles on top of it fell. Basically, this is whatever seeds you've planted, it's time. It's, it's harvest time now. The seeds are growing. It's like karmic payback, karmic payout, right? Libra, karmic. This is Libra season. For a lot of you Geminis, what ends up happening is in Libra season, which is now, your seeds will grow. The mustard seed grows. Mustard seed is the tiniest seed, right? But then it grows into this huge tree. This, for some of you, happens this season. It's Libra season. Some of you, this is a Libra, okay? Or you are the Libra. We have the moon rolling into a whole new cycle. For some of you, it could be Pisces energy, okay? Sun, moon, rising, Venus sign. Oh, I don't read reversals and it came out in reverse. Five of cups, regrets. Okay, so upright, we know that this is mourning something, sadness, regret. Upright, well, wouldn't it be just the opposite? Hidden emotions, yeah, with the moon also, it's intuition and such. It's like, if you don't make the effort, this happens. Spirit goes, reveal what you feel. Because this could be hidden emotions, so that this doesn't happen. 
it's like by revealing it by closing out a cycle to allow a new one to occur you don't have to fear that the worst thing that can happen is the what if and the unknowns that's the worst can you imagine 25 30 years from now you are thinking about something that you didn't do you have regret about a situation. Oh, what would have happened if I would have said hi? What would have happened if I would have took a chance on that job? What would have happened if I didn't settle? What would have happened? Don't come at me. The world, they want you to shut this down. Uh, the world is completion. This karmic cycle, huge karmic cycle, right? Because the world card is Saturn. So this is Saturnian lessons. Saturn has gone direct. They want you to close out this cycle. It is over. Whatever you're hanging on to, it's not allowing this romance of a lifetime, true love, you know, you being able to go to the next step, finding someone that you want to go to the next step with. You keeping something still open is hindering you, okay? Now, the world is completion. Something could come full circle. What does that mean? Well, it means something could end only to begin again. Some of you, this involves travel too. Oh, we got Kang Dangalang, as I call him. King of Wands, Aries Leo Sag energy with strength. This is Leo energy. Number eight. Of anything that stood out out of these two pictures is just number eight and this infinity symbol here. So for some of you, it's a Leo, or you are the Leo. For some of you, it's just this very fierce energy, this very fierce man that you could be dealing with, or you are the fierce man. Um, it's about someone having to take action though. Yeah, the King of Wands, he doesn't sit there and imagine what he wants to do. The King of Wands takes action. He, see, again, we go back to make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. The King of Wands takes action. He does not sit there and, and imagine and dream. It's about being brave, okay? The, uh, what, what this is about is if you want this romance of a lifetime that is trying to work its way into your life, there are things that you need to do on your end to allow it to come in. And, you know, in the extended, I'm going to use a whole new deck and we're going to find out what the hell's going on and see if maybe we can dive deeper into what this romance of a lifetime is going to be like. How the feeling it's everything you've ever wished for. But everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. It's a very popular saying for a reason because it's the truth. You cannot sit in this side of comfort and settling and being scared gemini's are courageous right but they can be very indecisive and they're, they're the duality they're, they're the twins meaning one part of them says yes and the other part of them says no and when you're dealing with that kind of an energy, when it's time to make a decision, that could make you uh, teeter over the line. I'm going to go. No, I'm not. I'm going to do it. No, I'm not. It's this person. No, it's not. It's about buckling down and getting really decisive so that actions can be taken. Okay? The universe will help you. They'll guide you. Right? They'll bring you to it. But then you've got to take action to drink from the cup. You have to take action. Right? To, to, to follow through. I smile because it's going to be the romance of a lifetime if you let it. All right, we're going to continue this in the extended. If you'd like to purchase it again, click on the link below. It'll take you there. For those of you that would like to follow me on Instagram, it's xi underscore missy underscore xi. And I will see you guys soon. Love you.